The 30th of November 2023, you're welcome back. Conor McGregor, my advice. My video on Conor McGregor's um, comments and his controversy on the recent riots and the recent attacks in Dublin uh, has, has got 6,000 views. So clearly there's big interest in Conor and he is could be an, a, an ally in this. Now he has come out recently and he has condemned the actual violence that ensued from this and that's good. Now here's the thing, I grew up in rural Ireland, a standard Fianna Fáil type family, uh, medium sized farm and uh, father working in industry and I and we had one uh, particular trait maybe that different differed us from other families education was on the agenda back as far as the 1940s the my parents worked hard to put us through college and give us an education whereas that might not have happened with many other working class families now uh, the thing about it is this i remember growing up and there was a, a man who was a lot older than me he was about 43 years older than me and i got into a bit of a scrape which involved fisticuffs and he started training me how to box and he used to say if you if someone draws a punch on you and you duck and they miss that's worse on them than if you hit them and he taught me a few tricks but any event they did work i did try some of them because i'd be in rows all the time with local heavies and things like that and i wouldn't back down too easily either but I was on my own of course and uh, eventually when I was about uh, I'd say about 17 a racket a racket uh, uh, happened up uh, in, in the town and uh, eventually I was outnumbered there was about six to one and he came in and he was 68 he was 68 years of age and he said uh, I'll back you up and he did back me up and they didn't take us on and I always remember his advice to me was if they get you down and they go to kick you on the ground curl up and put your hands between your legs nobody ever died of a broken arse that man's long dead in any event Conor McGregor is a genius at mixed martial arts and that sort of stuff I'm well past that I have my skills as well I have certain skills and um, that there's no need to itemize them here but the thing the thing about Conor McGregor has to remember is it's not all you do from your position of power and all that it's your ability to knuckle down and act as a team and don't have people who have a not a knowledge beside you and not avail of it in the end of the day if you remember the Dublin girl Sinead O'Connor you know Sinead O'Connor I'm sure everyone knows Sinead O'Connor well she had a song called the Emperor's New Clothes and it is an absolutely beautiful song and in that she says everybody knows what is going on they laugh because they're untouchable not because what I said was wrong right that's what she has in the song that she was talking about her campaign against the abuse of children by the church and by authorities okay everybody knows what's going on they laugh because they're untouchable not because what I said was wrong by their own words they will be exposed they've got a severe case of the Emperor's new clothes and that is the case we, the, uh, the people we are dealing with here know damn well they are possessed of some sort of an obsessive behavior an obsessive behavioral disorder and they're in the in the uh, taking instructions from other places as well now the thing is what do we do in the end of the day from rioting and and all of that that's untouchable they're untouchable for that the people who made the decisions on all of this migration in Ireland are not the people who had to bear the brunt of the rioting in Dublin they're not the little teacher and our children they're not the they're not the people who bore the brunt of the rioting they are aloof from that they are way far like Klaus Klaus what do you call them uh, that fella, world economic close something on you world economic forum yeah close swab from the world economic forum and they are not involved in this no riot nor anything affects them there is only one way to deal with this and that is through the legal process but also by fighting off the various attempts to shut down free speech but also in the political sphere and unfortunately if you want to go political you have to make the effort and it'll take up time and all of that it's possible conor mcgregor would get elected to the doll because he's so well known and uh, therefore he has a responsibility to answer 
the call of his country. I feel it a bit now. Um, the last thing I want is traipsing up and down to Dal Erden. The last thing. Well, what I would do, I'd only go in for the important stuff. I'd be out bailing the hay when they're up there talking about do lifting dogs, dogs poo off the street and, 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 all, and all of that. Let them belt away on the small stuff and come in for the important debates and deprive them of the seed. That's maybe how we go about it because it's a big problem getting time to commit to this as many says it's a young man's game but young men and women are not up to dealing with these crowd it's the like of conor mcgregor myself and others i have a word of advice on law on european environmental law on irish criminal law and on all of that type of law a lot of that's in my head a lot of the lower court judges won't listen to it, but we can get the better of them if we have good lawyers, and I have good lawyers all lined up uh, to, 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 to deal with these people. We have already stopped several big projects on wind energy because the Borplanola is afraid of the living life of me and all of that. So what you have to do, you have to make this sacrifice. People made the ultimate sacrifice. The people who created our state lost our lives and, and all of that and we have to make a bit of a sacrifice too and conor mcgregor should contact me there should be discussions he should think very carefully before he, he establishes a new party it's very late i'm not saying it's a bad idea we need to get organized now we have the european elections coming up and uh, we have council elections which i won't bother with but, but some people might want to run on, on the ticket that I'm advising and then we have the Dáil elections coming later in 2024 or thereabouts okay so what I'm saying to Conor McGregor and this is what I've noticed with other people particularly Gemma Doherty who was leading the fray she wouldn't speak four people went to her meeting in Ashburn and when they went up to her after the gig after she spoke then she backed off and wouldn't talk to them, leaving them in a situation that if they stood for election under her name and you wanted to find out her policy on something, you couldn't contact her. I don't even know her phone number. That is the problem there with that woman, and that will be the problem with various parties, all wanting to do their own thing. I'm a team player, and I'm prepared to yield some of my principles in order to get a tie and change. And you have to have your goal. What is the goal here? We want to urgently stop the migration. That's the first thing we have. The second thing, we want to stop the woke cultural Marxist agenda that puts teachers in jail for calling a by him. And we want to stop the hate speech. We want to have the proper assessment of our energy requirements and other major structures. And stop mad lunatic jackasses like Eamon Ryan making decisions on our environment and our lives. That's all I can say to Conor McGregor. I hope he takes it in. He may not. We may never hear from, hear from him again. All I can do is keep ploughing on, keep trudging on, and keep you informed of what's happening. Folks, thumbs up or a thumbs down, and uh, we'll see you back for something else. I hope maybe that out of this will come uh, something. Because one of the things, although the riots were not good and they were tough on, on people and the police and everything, they have one effect. They have blasted Ireland all over the internet, all over the media, all over the American, the Canadian, the British, the European, the Australian, everywhere has seen that the Irish are kicking up. That's happening in Scotland, it's happened in Britain, and it's happening in Europe. And that is going to the bone. That hurts. Leo Varadkar, Michal Martin, uh, Eamon Ryan, who I posted where he wants 5 million migrants into, into the island of Ireland. That hurts them more than anything. They are gone bananas and they're going to introduce draconian legislation to try and control uh, the right to speak out. And we're going to have to deal with that when the time comes, using a bit of grey matter, which I might be able to add as well. You get me point? So it's a question of banding together, trying to make common ground, trying to put something before the people that they might uh, be, uh, finally elect. What would be a tragedy if we don't organise properly and the election takes place and it's quite obvious that the people had changed, that a lump of the people had changed and would come over our side. 
It's possible that the Sinn Féin voters will spot what the Sinn Féin is. I mean, how... Matt Carthy was on the on the news yesterday saying people in Monaghan are afraid to walk the street, but he didn't say who. Is it, is it migrants they're afraid of, or is it far right? Because I was at a protest in Coutil and a protest in Carrick Macross, and it was completely peaceful. One guard came up, kept an eye, and we told him there'd be no trouble, and there wasn't. So Matt Carthy will not say who his constituents are afraid of. What he's doing is he's hoping to say, oh, they're afraid, they'll vote for me without t telling the people or without mentioning who they're afraid of because that's the awkward question. You see Thomas Pringle from Donegal, another TD, condemning uh, the protests and with nothing about the migration. And don't forget about Carthy, the, between Kingswood and Carrie Macross, there's a big hotel there and they're extending it by something like 50 rooms to, to, to accommodate these people. So this is the reality and we don't have to overreact. Better be sensible and sensible and, and wise and do the right thing. And all I can do is put myself to Conor McGregor, say we're available for discussions, and he would be he would be a great candidate in my view. He doesn't have to go up to the doll every day. He'd be a great candidate in a Dublin working class area. I'd say he'd I'd say he'd get in. And that's it. And when you get in there and you handle that right, you rely on all the people around you who mean well, all the people who know the law and know how to deal with this. And that way we try to overcome the huge media bias, the huge uh, 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 bias there is for us in Ireland. See you back for something else. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and comment underneath about it. And uh, if you know Conor McGregor, tell him about the video. Let him look at it. It's long enough, almost 12 minutes. Goodbye and thank you very much.